Hey guys, I'm Anders. Today we're gonna to be making a red cabbage salad with blood oranges, quinoa, and grilled chicken thighs. When you're cooking, it's really important to manage your time really well. So the first thing we're gonna do is rinse off our quinoa and get that oiling. This is about a cup of quinoa. I'm gonna rinse it off, put it in a small pot, and put about a cup and a half of water in it. An important detail when you're boiling stuff like quinoa and rice is to add a generous amount of salt to make it actually taste of something. Then we're gonna go on to our chicken thighs here. I like to use boneless, skinless chicken thighs. They're super easy and in my opinion, more delicious than chicken breasts. They also have a little bit more fat. I'm gonna marinate them in this paste that I made out of half a tablespoon of garlic powder, half a tablespoon of chili powder, two tablespoons of paprika, two tablespoons of ground cumin, and a little bit of olive oil. And then we're just gonna get down and dirty with our fingers. There's also salt in this. If you choose to marinate it and let it sit for longer, I would wait with the salt since it drags out liquids from the chicken. But since we're just gonna cook it immediately, I add salt into the marinade. Set that aside. Heat up your skillet. I like to use cast iron. In my opinion, that's the best generator of high heat for that, this kind of thing. So another option would just be throwing it out on the grill if you have that. That's really good as well. Cool. While the skillet is heating, we're gonna take our red cabbage, just half and quartered it. We're gonna take out the stem, and then we're gonna slice it thinly. Red cabbage like this can be kind of rough in the structure and a good little neat trick to make it collapse and soften up a little bit is just to give it some salt and some lemon juice. Then we're gonna take our peppers, tops and bottoms off, light insertion, and then we're just gonna slice down and around. Give it some water, and the seats are out. So, our skillet is starting to get nice and hot. Our quinoa is boiling, so we're just gonna bring our quinoa down to a light simmer. Pour in a little bit of olive oil in our skillet. And start our chicken off. I have six thighs in total. I choose to divide that into halves and not fill the skillet completely since it gives me more space to move the chicken around and it makes it easier to actually roast or grill and not boil. Now, on to our blood oranges. You can do this with regular oranges as well. Um, I really like blood oranges. They tend to be a bit more acidic, which I like. You're gonna take off the skin. And check if you've gotten all the white parts off. This white part tends to be really bitter and not that delicious.
split it into halves, then into quarters, and just slice it down. Now it's about time to turn these fellas around. Red onion. Here's the way I cut them. Divide them into halves. Take off the tip. Peel off this outer layer. Leave the root on. This makes it a lot easier to mince. And some people say that it makes you cry less. So you're gonna do small, nice insertions. All the way down. Split it on the other length, somewhere between two and four times, depending on how fine you like your onions diced. I like them fairly fine. So, and then you're simply just gonna slice all the way down. Throw that into blood oranges. So with quinoa, it usually takes between 10 and 20 minutes to get it cooked thoroughly through or till they kind of start to split and open up. You won't be in doubt when you first start cooking it. Um, the easiest way to check is just to taste. onto our parsley. I usually take the rough part of the stalks off that I would use in soups or stocks, anything I would boil for longer periods. Then I take my parsley, roll it into a little ball. Slice it into strips. And then go the other way.
So the smaller one will usually be finished first. It's funny how that works. <laughs> so I usually can feel when it's done. A good way to test that is just to put your thumb against your pinky and this part of your hand feels as firm as the chicken should feel before it's done. Make sure to let it rest about the same amount of time as you've cooked it. That way it will stay as juicy as possible before you start cutting it up. So, our little mix here. I'm gonna add some salt. Dash of olive oil. So, this is a neat little trick. As you can see here, this chicken thigh is a lot thicker on one side than the other. So, leaning it up against the edge of your skillet and just letting the thicker side get the heat saves the thinner side from getting all dry and overcooked uh, while you're cooking the thicker side to perfection. So, Again, tiny bit of olive oil. Um, in my cooking, I tend to use quite a bit of butter or olive oil and stuff like that. And therefore, I rarely add fatty things to my food, such as nuts or avocados. Nuts and avocados are great, great sources of fat. So is olive oil. I just choose to use olive oil instead. As you can see here, the quinoa has started to split and get white in the middle. And this is a great clue that it's almost done. So, another great way to save time in general is to make sure that you keep your workstation fairly clean and doing dishes while you cook. So if you're waiting for something to finish up cooking, wash off your cutting board or your knife throw out some garbage, do, uh, do something to make it all easier. We have our beautiful and cooked quinoa. So, I'm gonna take some of this quinoa. I like to prep a little ahead, especially with like, stuff like rice, quinoa, potatoes. Generally, my carbs, uh, just have them prepped and the refrigerator saves you huge amounts of time and amounts of dishes to be done after cooking. So start by plating your mix of cabbage, quinoa, and peppers. I'm gonna take our chicken, slice it into bite-sized chunks. Usually about a thigh and a half is around 40 grams of protein, which is a decent amount for pretty much everyone to have on a meal. I'm gonna add in our blood oranges, mixed with red onions, parsley, salt, olive oil. And dinner is served. Oh, 